have this, um, this Family Choice Act. This is going to refer to the laws that have been passed. So in 2019, so House Bill um, 191268, that is the law that came to be in 2019. And a lot of us, when we were forming GDPRA, we didn't even know this law had passed. And that's where Cindy called Corky and said, hey, we just heard a law passed, and it's going to affect our industry. We need to know more about this. Um, and so that's when we got involved, understood that we are now required to have a disclosure agreement. So when you're working with a family, you need to be disclosing how you are paid if you're a placement agent. We are a free service to seniors, and we get paid through the communities, the buildings that we work with. And you need to have a signed document. So that's what the first law covers. The second law was passed in 2020, um, and that's 1101. And this is what came together to make the Family Choice Act. Um, House Bill 201101 gave seniors and their families the right in who represents them. Um, sometimes families would get online and they would get trapped in online agencies and they didn't have a way out. And buildings would have to pay two referral fees. They'd pay the local agent because they recognized that they did all the work but then they'd also have to pay the online agencies as well. And the families had no choice. They said they would cancel, and they were told that's fine, but then the contract with the building with some of the online companies said that they still had to pay them because they owned their name for three years. So, COPRA came together, we testified, um, Corky and I, along with many others on our committee, had the privilege of helping write the bill for, 20, uh, for 1101, which says seniors should have the right, along with their families, should have the right in who represents them. And